<laughs> Johnny, what happened? Was Frankie Boy right all along? I think you're suited to join the clownivores. I mean, I mean the cornivores at this point. I'm not here to uh, judge you for doing whatever you feel is right for you, your family, and your community. I'm not here to tell you what is objectively right or what is wrong. And I'm not here to listen to your, uh, you know, arguments and to your uh, opinions either. I am just here to tell you guys my experiences, my shift in perspective, my new life choice. Yeah, John, but we're here to tell you that you've misled millions of people over years and years on a downward health spiral. None of these vegan clowns have a heart. They can't bring it to themselves to step down and admit they were wrong. They have to continue to try to squeeze money out of people because that's what they're all about. Cash, moolah, cha-ching, shekels, dollars, whatever you call it, that's the only reason these people stay vegan so long in the first place. It's because of the money. If it wasn't paying, he would have jumped ship way sooner. If any of these vegan shills weren't paid actors, they would be honest and move on away from social media in any capacity. They would accept that they've only had a negative influence on other people, literally destroying people's health in addition to maiming babies and children. You know, the people that have stepped away and moved on. I think people like Moon and Rock in some capacity, you know, haven't been talked about as much. And I think we can all agree, or people who have looked into the scientific literature, we can agree that nutrition itself is a very confusing and not really understood topic um, and it is you know understood to a certain degree but there are very many question marks so you take a study and uh, you use that study to come to a conclusion but then another person with a whole another uh, opinion will take that same exact study and come to a like uh, the opposite conclusion to someone else. Yeah, that's part of being special interest funded, being paid by various groups and corporations to promote a certain agenda that benefits those groups and corporations in exchange for monetary compensation. Whenever I look at studies, I look at the specific mechanisms occurring in said study as opposed to attempting to draw a conclusion from it. The clowns on the carnivore and vegan sides are all about generalizing studies as opposed to being truthful about how the body works because if they were truthful, neither diet would be the right one. Veganism, carnivorism, oh we it ain't the way. A lot of times when you're vegan, especially for me, you are in this bubble. You are in the mindset of, you know, we are doing something that is ethical. We're doing this because it feels right in, in every single way. And this is my perspective. And because this is my perspective, we're only going to listen to other people with the same perspective that have the same mission to eliminate animal suffering, to live a plant-based lifestyle, a vegan diet, uh, and so on. So it becomes almost like you have to only look for answers and research that comes from people that you know is gonna support your bias. Anything outside of pro-vegan becomes the opposite, right? So there is no neutral point of view that you can get to with this mindset. It's either vegan, pro-vegan, or it's anti-vegan and pro-meat eating and pro-murder and death and, and these things. And this is the mindset that is, you know, I was in that mindset myself, so I know that that is the, the dominant mindset for a lot of people. Ah, Johnny boy, I think everyone agrees that you should have retired your acting skills several months ago. It is difficult to get a man to understand something when his salary depends upon his not understanding it. Anyone with an IQ above 100 can blatantly see that vegans and carnivores are intentionally biased, avoiding information contradicting their point of view. Fortunately, for those influencers, most people are below 100 IQ. I've personally always spoken about the benefits of certain wild quality plant foods since I started my channel in 2016, whereas everyone else has been on some type of bandwagon, you know, for marketing purposes, 
in regards to monetary gain. I have never claimed that the science you know, proves that a, a vegan diet, a 100% vegan diet is the best for optimal health, but I truly believed it for the you know last four years. I think the last year I've been questioning a lot of things, but for the vast majority of the time that I was vegan, I really actually believed that it was optimal for human health because that is what we're being sold. Big organizations like the American Dietetics Association, uh, all that mixed together makes it extremely easy to just believe 100% that you are doing the right thing. And I'm not saying that it's a wrong thing, but it makes it easy not to question it and look at the opposite or another different point of view. So you're trying to claim that a vegan diet was never proven to be best for optimal health, but that's what you've pushed. You're literally saying a vegan diet isn't optimal, but that you push it on people. Just another two-faced lying prick. Uh, this is a strategy called gaslighting, uh, where you repeat things over and over again and lie to your audience to manipulate them. After looking into the Dietetics Association, um, you know, corporate ties, all these, you know, different corruptions that are going on, and looking at the science for, you know, children especially, because this is the reason why I started questioning everything. There is extremely little science and I am not convinced at all by the science that is used to support those claims. Yeah, we know every government organization around diet and health, at least the most prominent ones, American Heart Association, American Dietetics Association, are all heavily connected to the Seventh-day Adventist Church and some type of anti-human depopulation agenda to reduce fertility. And I strongly believe that we cannot you know, say for certain that one thing, uh, you know, something like the vegan diet, 100% vegan diet is going to be optimal for kids. It may be optimal. I'm not saying that it's not. And I, we look up to so many vegan parents that are doing an amazing job raising vegan kids. This is not something that I, as a parent, as a father, am comfortable with doing. I'm not comfortable of dismissing, you know, hundreds of thousands of years or even millions of years of a certain um, you know eating pattern and instead do something that requires supplementation it may be optimal for kids and children really really John you're doing a no longer vegan video and still refuse to acknowledge that a vegan diet literally kills babies and maims children permanently damaging the development of anyone below their early 20s but then you go to say that you're not comfortable doing something that requires supplementation? Do people really fall for this double speak bullshit? Someone literally wrote a script for this clown to gaslight his followers, literally playing both sides of the coin to attempt to keep as many people as possible following him. John, put on the monkey suit and start dancing because this isn't working. I have had some question marks because of personal experiences, because of my real life observations and, you know, uh, nutrient deficiencies in people that are very, very close to me. I don't feel comfortable with my kid uh, being vegan. I cannot continue that lifestyle myself. Granted, I'll still, you know, do everything in my power to do what I feel is best. Uh, with my moral compass for the environment, the planet, the animals, and all of that stuff. This is unbelievable. John is admitting that he's witnessing his children suffering on a vegan diet and can't take it anymore. Yet, he just said a vegan diet may be optimal for children. Despite the doublespeak and gaslighting, you know, directly lying over and over again to manipulate his viewers, he has given people a hint at the truth. I was always, you know, 100% certain that this was the healthiest diet for, for human beings because I was coaching a lot of people and I still will be coaching vegans and helping vegans to thrive. <laughs> All right, buddy, put the clown shoes back on because you just said a vegan diet is killing your children, but you're still going to help other people follow a vegan diet so you can make money by coaching them. You know, I hope the help you're giving to those people is injecting some sense into their brain to eat some animal products. And other friends, really very close friends who said, you know, that I, <laughs> that they respect my choice and everything like that but they can't be seen with me publicly because that is bad for their image because the vegan movement is so toxic and so judgmental so you know this is not an easy issue 
and it's so so sad that the vegan movement has so many people that are so judgmental and have such superiority complex. The term is cognitive dissonance. The state of having inconsistent thoughts, beliefs, or attitudes, especially as relating to behavioral decisions and attitude change. I'm not scared of getting flack for any of this. I've done this, you know, several times in the past and I, I just don't care. I'm just here sharing my opinions. Apparently you are because you had your handlers write you a script. And, you know, if people want to take my clips out of context and try to make me look like a fool, that's, uh, that's fine. It's been done so many times before, a hundred times before, and that's okay. You're going to try to guilt trip people for calling you a dishonest fool when you've misled hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people towards harming their health? Really showing your true colors, buddy. You know, keep the selfishness going. Johnny boy, if you do have any of your heart left, Maybe you should reach out to me so I can break what's left of it. I'm still living the same, uh, you know, life in terms of core principles, still the same mission, trying to spread positivity, compassion, love, and health to everyone who watches and follows along this channel. And I hope that you guys uh, can stick around because there's so many more things and, and the journey has just begun. This is important. He's basically saying he's still special interest funded, that they're just going to use him for something else. He's still part of the club, so don't leave, boys. I mean, there is there's a lot more to come. And again, I'm not here to bash on the vegan diet, to say that it's unhealthy. I know so many people who are doing well, and I'm super proud for being able to step outside of the bubble and really dig deep and try to be as unbiased as possible. The gaslighting, the lying, the double speak, it's just persistent throughout this video, even until the very end. You know, these paid actors are fairly intelligent people, and they attempt to convince the majority of the population, and most of them are doing so. You know, especially a lot of the carnivores, but in John's case, everything's falling apart. It's like a catastrophe. Uh, I mean, it is painfully obvious, though. You know, none of these people on YouTube, you know, they're all in the club. They haven't addressed current events in any truthful way whatsoever. You know, and, and part of me doesn't even want to talk about this at all. You know, we're not playing in the same sandbox. I'm on a different level. I'm honest. I actually want to help people. And I'm not in it for the money. And I would bet I'm one of the only people on YouTube that, that's honest about that. For you guys who don't want to follow along anymore just because I'm not vegan anymore, you know, that's okay. <laughs> Peace out. I think what John's been doing over the past year or so has been leading up to this point. You know, I'm sure he hasn't been vegan for well over a year now, but he's been acclimating his viewer base to the point where he can just flip the switch. And that's what he did today. You know, this is clearly all about money his special interest agenda, damage control for what he's planning on doing next. And we joked about the carnivores, but you know, don't be surprised if he starts collaborating with all of these other special interest funded people because they try to promote each other so they can all make money and all make a living off of deceiving you guys. That's how it is. That's how it is. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. If you'd like to support me, definitely check out the stuff in the comments below. Uh, we got a bunch of exciting stuff, hopefully, that's going to follow through in the next few months. And uh, I'm looking forward to that, guys. Have a good night.